Teacher. Hello, no se le escucha nada. Ahora, yes. Yes. Yes, okay, thanks. Thanks for telling me, Carito. I'm so sorry. I don't know why the, the setting was completely difficult, but well, different. Uh, hello, Carito. Tell me, how are you? Good? Better than. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, more or less. More or less, okay. Yeah. I know. These days have been kind of complicated. Han sido complicated yes. estos días. I know, I know. It is not so easy. Okay. So, but how are, how is your mood? ¿Cómo está tú? Tu vibras, your vibes. Nice. My vibes is good. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, uh, Carito, tell me, something important that you did maybe on the weekend, during the weekend? Um, no. Not really? No, only, only work. Only just working. Okay, yes. I, I understand. Okay, thank you, Carito. Here we have also Charlie. Hello, good evening. Take it easy. Oh, how, what was <laughs> that on, the, on your yes, t-shirt? Take it easy. Ah, <laughs> take it easy. That's a, a very nice shirt. How are you doing, Charlie? Tell me, how are you? Good? Very, very good. Okay, that's perfect. Very, very good. Today is very busy, but it's very, very good, very good. Very good. The okay, day, busy, but good. day, the day, no se siente. Ah, okay, yeah. The day was passing by very quickly. Okay. Thank you, Charlie. Yes, yes. Okay, Carmencita, good evening. Good evening, teacher. No, so, uh, how was your day? Hi, I'm fine. Uh, very, very good day. Very good day, I know. Uh, even it is Monday. Mondays are difficult, but okay. We started oh, positively. Very, very cool uh, last uh, weekend. Oh, the weekend was was nice. Was, nice. Yes, that that that's very important. If, if we had a very good weekend, it means that the week could be better. Puede estar aún mejor. Okay, so that, that that's important. That's really important. Thank you, Carmen Sira. Uh, Mercy, welcome back. I like you. That I like you. You're here. So welcome back. How are you doing? Good. Thanks. Okay, I'm fine. fine. Normal. Normal day. Normal day. I know. Yes, I know some of you have had difficult days, difficult situations, but we have to continue. Okay. So okay. the things are going to get better. Van a mejorar todas las cosas. Thank you, Mercy, for being here. Thanks. Nice. Marlon, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, how was your weekend? Uh, it was uh, very, very good. Very good. Okay. Yes. Everything like normal, no surprises. Uh, everything normal. Uh, um, I. Uh, I don't know how to say it. I I could I, I could uh, do some things that like puede ser cosas que se me habían complicado. Yes, uh, things that they were like left. Estaban como left and complicated. I think. Complicated. Okay. So, so well, that's positive. Uh, of course. Yes, I know. Uh, I I I I feel like. If I am without a heavy weight, yes. no sé, yeah. un peso <laughs> yes. Now you feel free. I feel free. You feel free. Okay. I'm going to show you a word uh, for this. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, computer is getting. Procrastinate, it is not just the thing that uh, you were experiencing, 
But procrastinate is procrastinar, o sea, dejar las cosas a última hora, um, inventar un poco, ¿verdad? So that, that is something that I, I used to procrastinate when I was at the university, con la universidad. I used to do it a lot, a lot of time. And even now, uh, there are some things, some obligations you have to do. And you say, oh, I'm going to do it later. Ah, relax. It is not so urgent, no tan urgente, but uh, the, the, the negative point is that you are accumulating obligations and things, and that, that's negative work. It's a negative part when you procrastinate. So that usually happens. In a person, the person who, who leaves everything to the end, el que deja todo para última hora, it's called procrastinator. Procrastinator. Es el que le gusta la vida al extremo, le gusta la adrenalina. A lot of things, maybe related to your studies, related to work. Okay, so that's a procrastinator. And procrastinate is the verb. Okay, so we continue. Thanks, Marlon. Uh, Marita, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everything mm -hmm. okay? From yes. your Monday? Yes. Yes. No surprises? Um, no. Not really, no. okay. Okay, but you're okay. Excuse me? You are okay, right? Yes. Okay, yes. that's perfect. Thank you, Maritza. Damari. So, welcome back. Hi. Hi. Tell me good how if, was. Good evening. <laughs> good. good. <laughs> okay, how was your Monday? Hard uh, Monday. This day was beautiful and tired. Wow, that's a, a strange mix. Beautiful and tired. Teacher and and more. How do you say uh, witty, witty, hmm? witty? Do you understand me? I'm sorry. Witty, more hmm. witty, mucho viento. Windy. Ah, okay. Wind me suena otra cosa, Damari. No, yes, ah, windy, okay. windy, windy. Yes. That that usually yes. happens. It's windy, so. Maybe you can feel some sore throat, or be, we have to be careful with the dust. Con el polvo tenemos que tener cuidado with allergy and all those things. But it is good because you can uh, wear sweaters, right? With Scarf. the dress. <laughs> yes, be careful, be careful. Or with the umbrella as well, so that's it. Okay, perfect, Damari. You look very, very nice. Like if you had a very good Monday, perfect. Thank you. Jasmine, good evening. Good evening. And how was your Monday? Um, so so. So so, so okay. Okay. I and my baby we went to the doctor. Uh -huh. and le pusieron su vacuna. Ah, okay, the vaccines. She received the vaccines, okay? Yes. I'm and sorry, she was crying for her. For yes, her in the morning, all in the morning, she was crying. Crying all the time, yes, I yes. know. It's hard. And I... <laughs> ah, she... you too, you too, yes. yes. You felt the pain, poor baby. Yes. But uh, that's necessary, right? Yes, it's yes. hard. It's I know, hard. yes, I know. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> Uh, well, let's continue, Yasmin. But nice that she, uh, the, the baby care, now she, she has that. Or she has got the, the vaccines. Thank you. Manuelito, welcome back. Hello, Manuel. Everything okay? Hello, teacher. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, no more problems with the job because you, you were like having difficult agenda, right? No. Oh, everything okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And here we have Elsa. Hello, Elsa. Bea. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Nice. Uh, good evening. It's nice that you are Hello. here. Hello, Bea. Thank you. Uh, Elsa, you still have problems, right, with the camera? 
Yes, teacher. Um, aún, ¿cómo se dice aún? Yes. Uh, still. Still. I still have problems, okay? Yes, I understand. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, Edgar, hello, good evening. Kevin. Are you there, right? Yes, I know that you're there. And Helen also, that she is uh, commonly walking to her house. Okay, we're going to start. This is the class number five. So remember, um, this is the final of the first week. So we have three more weeks left, okay? So this is like the 25% of the course. Ya vamos al 25% del curso. So, well, that, that's good. And uh, the first question that I want you to tell me uh, briefly, brevemente. How many jobs have you had? ¿Cuántos empleos has tenido? O sea, you can say, I have had. This is present perfect. Eso se llama presente perfecto. I have had. Yo he tenido. Tú has tenido. Él ha tenido. Okay. I have had three jobs. I have had four jobs. And if you want to, to say uh, what have been your occupations, you can say like a shear, waiter, waitress, that it is common that we have some, those kinds of jobs at the beginning or when we are young, okay? So let's start with uh, Damari. How many jobs have you had? Two, three, four jobs? I have had two jobs. Uh -huh. As a? As a teacher, of, of course, uh, and as, as a, a teacher. And after that, I uh, I was a. Uh, es que andaba buscando how do you say completo lugar. Ah yes, uh, you can say hair hair stylist hair, hair, hair yes. stylist. You like it? You love those. Entonces, after wow. that, the the, the no teacher. before antes ah, before before before. Nos, todos decimos eso que por qué no after significa antes, pero sí. Before the teacher. Oh, before uh, working as a teacher. Okay, so, yeah. oh, but that's interesting. You can have your beauty salon if you want. Maybe in the future. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 okay, um, okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. What about Marlon? Tell me, 10 jobs, 20 jobs, Marlon, how many? No, teacher, <laughs> only... Uh, three jobs. Three jobs. Asa? Yes. On, only three jobs. And I have been an informal salesperson. Ah, yes. You have in business, my, right? In my, in, my two, in, in my two past jobs. And now as an architect. Okay. That's good. So you have different types of uh, experience, right? Okay. Good. Of yes. course. Yes. I remember you, you mentioned but that. You, you, can, uh, you can learn in everything you do or everything, everything you did. Of course it yes. is. Yes, okay, yes. To deal with people, tratar con gente. Mm. Of course, and, and that's the that's the main point, I think. Yeah, that's the main point to, in every job. To, to to deal with people and to and to have the the tener las competencias. Yes, or, have the competences, the skills. Have, have the skills or the competences. Yes. I think Thank you. Okay, very nice. Carmen Sira and then Mercy. How many? I have had six jobs. Six jobs. Wow. Huh? As a as a, a administrative assistant, a customer service hmm? for chasing technician, yeah. internal auditor. Uh, uh, advisor internal control. Um, now, hey, now, wow, you have had different experiences, Carmen Sira. Very nice, yes, teacher. Yes, okay. congratulations. A lot of experience, experience in the public administration, yes, mainly in, in that area, right? Okay, yes, perfect, Carmen Sira. Thank you for sharing, okay, Mercedes, Mercy, and then Maritza. Okay, I have had two jobs mm -hmm. as a purchasing assistant. Yep. And encargada de un almacén. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say in charge, in charge of uh -huh, uh, almacén, La, like a shop, like a branch. Puede ser, huh? No como un, eh, sí, ajá. Ajá, a branch. Una, yes. Ajá, una tienda, como un almacén. Ok, 
But that's interesting. Uh, a lot of responsibilities, Mercy. Yes. Responsibility. Okay, thank you. Maritza de Manuel. Okay, I have had two jobs as an accountant. Uh, similar, two jobs as, as, as an accountant. Yes. Okay, that, that's interesting. Wow. And now you are you have your own business, but yes. it means it means that you have a good administration of your business, Maritza, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, Manuel and then Charlie. Okay, I have two jobs. I have had two, two jobs. I have have. Hmm? Yeah. As a <laughs> primero ya lo conocen. Era bajista. El, bajista, el bajista de la comercial. Ajá. Y el segundo uh, como supervisor de mantenimiento, ¿cómo es? Ok, yes, uh, maintenance supervisor. Ok, very nice one. Ok, Charlie, and then Carito. Uh, I, I have had only one job. Mm -hmm. I, as a craftsman. Ok, that's interesting. Well, you, you have... Uh, like uh, how many years working in that position? Uh, ten, ten. Ten, ten, ten years, ten, ten years. years. Well, you have seen a lot of things good, Charlie. Very nice, 10 years. Thank you. Hey, Carito and Jasmine. I have had two jobs mm -hmm. as a baby sister and, ah. and a promotional system. Okay, babysitter, sitter. Mm -hmm. Babysitter see. and promotion assistant. Wow, interesting, Carito. Yeah, te imagino como babysitter. <laughs> okay, Jasmine and Bea. I have had um, uh, before before the teacher assistant. Mm -hmm. And you one. I. As a dentist assistant. Really, dentist assistant. Yes. Well, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, well, very nice, very it's nice. Very in interesting, yeah. Interesting <laughs> and intense. Algo intense, also. Okay, well, well, nice. Well, different types of experiences. Good, thank you, Yasmin. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Bea and then Kevin. Uh, I have, I have, I have had yes. th uh, two, jobs two jobs as a teacher assistant and then teacher. Okay. <laughs> Currently, right? Currently, you're a teacher. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Kevin and then may, Elsa. Uh -huh. Teacher, may I go to the bathroom? <laughs> yes, definitely. You can go. <laughs> oh, please go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. Kevin, and then we have Elsa. Okay, tell me. I have had two jobs before. Job in the pharmacy. I working in a uh, bakery. Creo que es panaria. Yes, 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 bakery. We're going to see that vocabulary later. Okay, you were so you can you can prepare and cook bread, right? Sí, este pan dulce. Pan dulce. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Elsa, and then Edgar. I have had uh, three jobs mm -hmm. as um, sellers. Uh huh. As sales a, person. Mm -hmm. Sales person, yes. Um, support tech, technical support, technical uh, network. Support. Network. Uh huh. Network. Okay. And um, as a teacher, I'm now, I'm sorry, I'm former. Okay. I'm now uh, administrative. Job. Okay. If you notice, very different types of jobs, and that's that's good. Different types yes. of jobs. Okay, thank you. And we go now with um, oh, Edgar, right? Edgar, and then Claudia. Hello, Edgar. I uh, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, so uh, I just. Uh, uh, only ha have only one one job one job yes uh, i am i uh, know i was a waiter okay uh before before the current job right 
Uh -huh, yes. Uh, okay. um, one, one year. Ah, oh, one year working as a waiter. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, you can you can learn a lot of customers when you work uh, as a waiter. I worked as a waiter too when I was like uh, 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, good and bad experiences. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean. Okay, and Claudia and then Susie. Hello, Claudia. Hello. Uh, are you okay? Everything okay, Claudia? Yes? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I, have, hmm? I have had. I have had uh, two jobs hmm? as a pattern technician mm -hmm. and administrative assistant. Okay, very interesting. Now let's go with Susie and Ellen Nilsson. Mm, I have had three jobs. Has a, ¿me será como se dice, teacher? Waitress. Waitress and sales and currently a promotion assistant. Okay, good, thank you. Everything okay, Susie? I can see that your hair is uh, very straight. Look, look nice. Well, your hair always thank looks you. right. Okay, right. thank you. Everything okay? Perfect. Um, I've been better. Yes, uh, I I can see that you are serious tonight, so uh, I can understand. Estoy that. cansada. Es que yes. hace poco salimos de reunión. Entonces ahorita llegando vengo y me conecté okay. y me he levantado bien temprano. Sí. Okay, maybe you need a, a cup of coffee and some snacks over there. Okay. Maybe five five. Cups. <laughs> Five cups. Yeah, maybe it's better. Five are better than one. Okay. Thank you, Susie. And we go. Eden Nilsson, are you there, my friend? Tell me. Yes, I'm here. Okay. I so have had uh, two jobs uh, as a uh, maintenance. Okay. And uh, now uh, I'm a teacher. Okay. Perfect. And uh, do you teach uh, kids? Or teenagers, or, or hmm? what subject? The first years, yes, I I teach. Uh, I taught. Uh -huh. I uh, taught. Mm -hmm. I taught. Kids uh, uh, or, or, or not or kids, teenagers. Uh, Adolescents. Three, teenagers. three years. Three ah. years. Uh, to fourth, fifth grade. Okay. And now I teach I teach a uh, from six to eleven. Ah, to eleven. Yes, very good. As yes. a teacher, we should have uh, the complete experience teaching from kindergarten or from kids, little ones, to teenagers, adolescents, or adults. It's important as a teacher. Yes, that's good. Yes. Yes. Okay. That, that, that's it's amazing. very different uh, yes, totally. the, the environment. Yeah. And I like uh, with the 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 biggest the, 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 the older the older, the older, older students. The older boy, the older kids, because uh, it is more easy to yeah, teach. It's easier. Yes, it's easier. The methodology is different. Yeah, you can say, I prefer also yes. adolescents or teenagers. Yes, I prefer older. It is, it is easy. Yes. Yeah, that's right, Nilsson. Thank you. Very nice. And Andreita, welcome here. Good evening. Hi, good evening. We are talking about the jobs that we have had. So you can say how many jobs I have had. Yo he I have, I have had three jobs as, as an waitress. As a clothes seller, y para decir ahorita, ahorita, currently, uh, currently as promotion assistant. Okay. A veces no confundimos con actually, verdad? Ah, pero es currently, okay, currently, um, okay, good, Andreita, yes. Well, I, I admire you, les admiro, han tenido diferentes, you have had different types of um, experiences, so I need you to pay attention to the next image and I'm going to give you six seconds. Then you tell me what do you remember of this, okay? We have kitchen vocabulary.
Okay. Let's see. Um, Mercy, do you remember any word? I can hear you. I'm sorry. Bake. Okay. Bake. 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 Perfect. Steamer. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And Manuel. Uh, slide. Okay. Slide. Okay. And what about Charlie? A uh, freight, uh, sorry, a uh, pill. Okay, good, thank you. What about Kevin? Right. Good. Susie? Whisk. Whiskey. Okay. Bea? Whisk. Okay, whisk. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. But it's great. No, it's no great. Sé qué es, ah. Pero no sé qué es. <laughs> Ah, ya vamos a ver. Carmencita. <laughs> Scramble. Scramble, good. Esa palabra ya se la saben. You already know that word. Marlon. Um, grill. Grill. I think. Yes. Grill. Yes. Grill. Okay. This is good. And we have also um, Maritza. Any other? Um, the same bacon semen. The same. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And here we have this vocabulary are action verbs for the kitchen, and we're going to use some of them next, uh, maybe at two days later, dentro dos días, because we have to know how to uh, what give instructions or the recite a, re a recite. A recipe, I'm sorry, para decir una receta y todo eso, es necesario saber algunos de esos. It's necessary to know these verbs. So we have great, similar to great, es como similar a decir genial, great. But in this case, great, rayar, okay? Slice, slice. It, that's why you can say a slice of pizza. Por eso que decimos una porción de pizza, ¿verdad? Se corta. That slice. Peel, that's uh, easy. I, I guess peel is easy, right? Pelar. Whisk. Whisk es eh, pues como revolver, batir, batir más que todo. Okay. Eh, boil, eh, hervir. This is important. Boil. Boil. Um, there are some eh, recipes, hay algunas recetas in which they have some instructions in English and they say boil, boil for three minutes or boil for five minutes. So that's it. Fry. You can see the oil here, pueden ver el aceite, fry, so it is easy. Fry is easy. I guess peel and fry are like easy words. Grill, grill, parrilla, ¿verdad? Es como asar ahí a la parrilla. Bake, that's why panaderías in English is bakery. Bakery, de hornear. Así se llama panadería en inglés, bakery. Okay, so that's it. Pour, pour. Yes. How do you say parrillada? Parrilla. Grill, similar. Grill is the noun and the verb. Mm -hmm. Es el sustantivo y el verbo. Entonces, the grill. Teacher, ¿qué dijo que significaba peel? Peel es pelar. Aquí ve. Ah, mm -hmm. sí, ahí ve que están descascarando. Sí, sí, but peel <laughs> es pelar. You can, you can mm. peel different types of fruits or orange. Okay. Yes, okay. So that's it. Eh, <laughs> descascarando. No, but peel is es pelar. Pero no pelar de otro sentido, sino que pelar de. Sí. Teacher, can I say eh, peel the potato? No. Yes. The potato, the carrot, the orange. But if you say slice, ya es partido, ¿verdad? Ya así por rebanadas. So that's it. Power. Power, en este caso, no es pobre, sino que pobre es verter. So I don't mean, yes, there are, I don't know if it is oil or, or honey, no sé si es miel. but pour is better, okay? For example, you have your salad, you can pour some, eh, another sauce, and that's it. Scramble, you already know what is scramble, right? Andreita, what is scramble? Mezclar. Mezclar, revolver. For example, scramble eggs, que son los huevos revueltos, ¿verdad? Scramble eggs, so that's it. 
¿Se recuerdan de algunas oraciones? I, I, sometimes I, 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 the instruction says unscramble. Unscramble. O sea, desenredar. Eh, simmer is um, calentar a fuego suave. That's simmer. For example, you can put, I don't know, the, the milk. If, if you boil it, because that's, that's dangerous, because uh, it, it is difficult to, to, to watch in the, the, the milk, but we can simmer con fuego suave, calentar con fuego suave. And spread, que es juntar. Spread uh, also means propagar, difundir, spread, o chispear. También significa eso, pero in, but in this case, spread es juntar. So, great, como, como te sientes, great, similar. Slice, no slice, slice, peel, whisk, que esta ya se, ya se la memorizó, so, sí, ya la vi. boil, fry, grill, bake, pour, scramble, simmer, spread, spread, ok? I need you to pronounce one of Perdón, the... Yo me quedé con la duda en grate y en whisk, ¿qué, qué es? Grate, grate es? es rayar, you can grate uh, cheese, Okay, or you can grate, okay. uh, what, what, what are other things? Carrots, even, you can grate. Of course. And what is whisk? Uh, whisk is, is uh, batir. 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 Y luego sim, simmer. Simmer. Es calen, simmer. calentar. Calentar, calentar. Fuego suave. Normalmente cuando calentamos lo hacemos con fuego suave. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's it. Teacher, spread. Untar. ¿Qué significa? Juntar. Okay. You can spread that. Even you can spread cream on your body, body cream. También, ¿verdad? Que okay. crema y todo eso. Okay. So that's it. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre whisk y shake? Es lo mismo. Son sinónimos. Yeah, whisk es batir eh, de esta manera. Pero shake es... Eh, you can use, por ejemplo... Oh, you can use... You can use... Agitar, como agitar. Yes, agitar. Hmm? Batir. Yes, but in this case, in milkshake, you do know from la nevería, so you can have a milkshake or from Boston, and the verb can be whisk. El verbo puede ser siempre whisk. But for shaking, sometimes when you go to a bar, uh, they prepare you a drink, le preparan una, un, una bebida, y le, les mezcla así de manera diferente. Uh -huh. Se les agita. So that's the difference. Okay. But they are like almost synonyms, casi como sinónimos. Ok. Es como hablar, del, es como hablar del, de la bebida de James Bond, el vodka martini agitado, pero no revuelto. Solo él entiende lo que significa eso, pero Aquí. creo que más o menos así va la cosa. I guess it's similar. <risa> agitado, pero no revuelto. I didn't know about that. No sabía eso, mira. That's new information for me, but thank you. Agitado, pero no revuelto. Ok. Uh, I need you to pick one of these words and then we continue. We start with Jasmine and then Damari. Tell me one. One that calls your attention. Jasmine. Okay. Sorry, I... <laughs> okay, I'm going to give understand. you time. Uh, Damari, you start and then Andrea. Pick one. It's lies. Slice, Andrea, then Jasmine. Scramble. Scramble, Jasmine, then Bea. Okay, uh, Bea, then Charlie. Uh, Simmer. Thank you, Charlie, uh, Kevin. Fry, fry. Okay, fry, Kevin, Marlon. Scramble. Good, Marlon, Susie. Four. Four goes. Susie. Jasmine. Um, teacher, perdón, no, no entendí. Repeat, please. You have to pick one. Uh, something that we do in, in every uh, class. Pill. <laughs> yeah, okay. Jasmine. Uh, Carito. Select Boil. one. Okay. Thank you. Carito. And then Mercy. Great. Okay, good. Mercy, Carmen. A scramble. Good, scramble. Carmen, Manuel. Bake. 
Good. Manuel Maritza. Fred. Good. Maritza Edgar. Four. Good. Edgar Elsa. Green. Good. Elsa Helen. Slice. Perfect. Helen Ellen Nilsson. Helen, hello. Okay, thank you. And Ellen Nilsson. Scramble. Good, thank you. Teacher. Yes. Can I say I pour a hot water in the Marushan? Yes, definitely. Yes. And even you can pour milk on or over cornflakes. That's it. That is something you can do. Okay. There are some people that they use the microwave for the more chance, but I prefer boiled water. In my case, I prefer. But there are some people. So do that, I. Yeah, right. That's better. Definitely. Okay. Uh, the, on Friday, we studied this. Remember, features and products, que son las características y el producto. Tablets, television, refrigerators, and we have weight, dimension, and quantity. Okay? Weight, dimension, and quantity. So, if you notice, here we have some uh, 170 kilograms, uh, grams, I'm sorry, 112.43 pounds, libra says a pounds, pounds, Okay, and 19.3 centimeter by, and so on. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? I need you to select a classmate, and we're going to use the chat on Zoom. Vamos a utilizar el chat en Zoom. Mientras estoy pasando lista, le voy a dar tiempo. Select, for example, Kevin says Marlon, uh, types Marlon, and he says, for example, uh, tablets, and you can say 150 grams, okay? Van a elegir una de esas, una de esas, o pueden ir. Vamos a llenar un poco de eso, ¿verdad? Pero así solo oralmente. Así que you can use not only tablets, you can say cars, you can say pair of shoes, microwave, oven, lo que ustedes quieran. Entonces, we're going to select a person. For example, Carito says Beatriz, and says, eh, escribe en el chat, Bea, Y le escribe television y le pone 200 pounds, 200 libras, ok? Digital, quiere decir que cuando vea, 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 vea el chat, entonces ella va a pronunciar eso en inglés. Ok, le voy a poner un ejemplo. Mm, we're going to start with Marlon. It's going to help. The team. Hey Marlon, how could you say this? Uh, we can hear you. Uh, TV uh, or television, uh, 52 inches. Perfect, that's it, that's nice. Se dieron cuenta, just one information. You don't need to, to write more, okay? So everybody can participate, okay? So I'm going to give you time to start typing and empiecen a, a digital. And Susie can select the Jasmine, for example, or whoever, quien ustedes quieran. And I'm going to check the attendance list, okay? Ya vamos a comenzar. Comiencen a, a digital en el chat, ¿verdad? A los, los personas, si quieren puede repetir persona, depends on you. Mercy puede elegir a la Mari o como ustedes quieran. Okay? Escribimos en el chat general, ¿verdad? Sí, ya viste lo que escribí en el chat, vea. Mm -hmm. Así escribes, mm -hmm. you, you write the name of the person, the article, television, refrigerator, uh, oven, microwave, lo que tú quieras, y le escribes. A cada persona o, o aquí mm -hmm. en público. Tiene que ser en general, tiene que, todo lo, lo tenemos que ver. Así Pero como, dirigido al nombre que decimos. O como... Exactly, así como yo lo hice. Ahí sabe, Marlon escribió Eden Nilsson. So, mm -hmm. Y Thank puede you, ser cualquier, cualquier cantidad. Y lo que te salga de él. Corazón. Corazón. Puede ser inventada, Andreita. Dale. Dale. Inspírense. Ok. Uh, start typing. Thank you, Marlon. So, 
continue with the example that I did and the same uh, example that Marlon did. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Para mientras pasa la lista. Merci, hello there. Present. Thank you. Andrea. Hi. Oh. Uh, Charlie. Okay, Charlie, I guess it's over. Okay. Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Clau. Present. So, Carito. I'm here. Right there, thank you. Maritza. Present. Thanks. And Dianita, no. Here. And Nilsson. Present. Thank you, Edgar. Present teacher. Okay, good. Elsa. Present teacher. Thanks very much. Damari. Present. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Helen. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin. Present teacher. Perfect. Manuel. Present. Thank you. Marlon. Present. Thanks. Susie. Thank you. Order. Bueno, necesito que sigan escribiendo, please. Escriban en el chat. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Jasmine. Present. Thank you. And Beatriz. Present. Thanks, then. Thanks very much. Okay, and we're going to start with uh, Eden Nilsson. Come on, Eden Nilsson. You have this information. Please say it. And then we go with Carmen. Okay. Um, cell phone uh, 15. I don't know how grams. I can say grams. Gram. Yeah. Grams. That's perfect. Thank you. Carmen and then Charlie. Okay. Um, iron. Made it. Yes. Kilograms. 25. Uh, mm. No me acuerdo cómo se dice libras, teacher. Pounds. 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 Se escribe pounds y se escribe pounds. pounds. Gramos, gramos se dice grams, grams. Y kilogramos, kilograms. Okay. 25 Thank pounds. You. Pounds. Thank you. Charlie, and then Damari. Damari. Eh, motorcycle, Yamaha R15, Yamaha R eh, color black. Ajá. Uh -huh. R15, uh -huh. color black. Thank you. Ok, good. Damari, and then Caro. Carito. Tablets, quantity, quantify. Quant, quantity sería ahí. Uh -huh. Quantity, 315. No 15. Sabemos. No sabemos. Eh, podemos ponerle grams. Gram, grams. Mm, grams, that's okay. Carito, and then we we'll go with Maritza. Apple, 16 grams. Grams, should it be? Uh, could it be an Apple computer or maybe an? I don't know what article. Maritza and then Susie. Computer, 17 pounds. Perfect. Susie. Orange, five pounds. Five pounds. Good. Helen and then the Maris. Helen. Okay. I, I guess Helen is not there. And maybe she's kind of busy. The Maris and then just me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Two thousand. Mi mil two, thousand. Two thousand mil. No. Two, no. two thousand kilograms. Two thousand kilograms. Sí, mil. Me gusta que estés inventando, pero tranquila, dama. Ok. Two thousand. <laughs> tranquila, a ver, ok. Sos creativa. Jasmine, and then Bea. Uh... Pilot. Pillows. 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 Uh, 56. 56. And Bea. Electronic fan, mm -hmm. four kilogram. Uh -huh. Four kilogram. That's it. So uh, you can see that here we have the, the, the weight. Um, let's see. Maritza, do you remember what is weight? Uh, peso. Perfect, that's, that, that's it. The dimension and we have the quantity, okay? So can you see the, the we have some 
some vocabulary, for example, grams, eh, pounds, centimeter, inches, que en el caso de las pulgadas, okay? So, we continue. And this is the activity that we have done in this moment, but orally, lo hicimos oralmente, en lugar de estar escribiendo tanto, okay? That's perfect, thank you. And here we have useful phrases, this is important. Um, the, the useful phrases are always like idiomatic expression that you can apply in every conversation or in every class. For example, I have asked this question. What do you mean? What do you mean? ¿A qué te refieres? Y, y para la respuesta pueden decir, I mean, for example, you can say, uh, if I ask, si, le, si, le, si les pregunto, um, are you single? ¿Estás soltero o soltera? And if you say, mm, it's complicated, and I ask, mm, what do you mean? And you can say, um, I'm, ha I'm having my divorce in these days, blah, blah, blah. So you can, you can uh, explain your situation. I say, what do you mean? ¿Qué quieres decir? ¿Qué te refieres? What are you talking about? Something that I have, uh, sometimes I, I say, what are you talking about? Just take a breath, okay? Breath. And I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Pretty good. Long time to see. I'm not in the mood. That's something that happens, especially, eso es importante. I'm not in the mood. Imagine you are tired, you are stressed, uh, you are hungry, you are angry. And there are some people that they want to say something funny and you, you don't want to talk too much. You can say, mm, I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood. I say, come on, no es mi día, estoy en el mood, okay? I, like me. Yeah, similar to Susie and similar to us in different days, okay? So see, that's something that happens to everybody, yes. And some, some other days we are very smiley. We are very, very, very happy. And some other days we are kind of not, not that good, okay? And I have a company tonight. And yes. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy. Fancy significa elegante. Como un vecino también que le dicen elegante. But it is kind of weird in this case because fancy meeting you here. ¿En qué casualidad encontrarte aquí? Aunque fancy es un adjetivo, significa elegante. Take care. Goodbye. When you say goodbye, take care. Cuídate. Okay. Take care. Um, otra frase para que no se confunda. Se lo voy a meter acá. Cuando va a pasar un accidente, you can say watch out. Watch out es cuidado, pero es un cuidado de grito. Okay, imagine there are some kids playing soccer on the street and the, a car is uh, coming across or passing by. You can say, watch out, the car. Entonces, watch out is cuidado, pero un cuidado con exclamación. Take care, as you say, ah, goodbye. Si cuando va a pasar un accidente, no digan take care. Si no se están despidiendo de la persona, you have to say, watch out. Okay, that's it. Um, let's see, okay. So what do you mean? Uh, what are you talking about? Not talking, talking about just take a breath. I'm not sure yet, pretty good. Long time, no see, I'm not in the mood. I have a company tonight, fancy meeting you here, take care. We start with Susie and then Damari. Okay, pick one, pronounce it. What do you mean? Good one, ese flow me. Damari and Charlie. Pretty good. good. Charlie, Edgar. What are you talking about? Good. Uh, Edgar Carito. Pretty good. Good. Carito Edenilson. I am not in the mood. The mood. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the mood. Como que ahorita no. Okay, that's it. Uh, Edenilson, vea. Long time no see. Good. Vea, Jasmine. I have a company tonight. Good. Jasmine, Maritza? I'm not sure yet. Okay, uh, Maritza, Kevin. Yes. Fancy meeting you here. Okay, good, thank you. Kevin, Marlon. What do you mean? Good. Marlon, Mercy. Take care. Perfect, Mercy, Helen. Very good. Good, and Helen, Manuel. 
Fancy mayor you have. Okay, Manuel, Andrea. Take care. Oh, take the Carmen. Just take a break. Mm -hmm. Carmen, Claudia. What are talking, of, talking about? What are you talking about? Okay. Uh, Claudia and Elsa. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes. Okay. Um, perfect, perfect. And Elsa. Ya vas a hacer Elsa. Hello. Ahí le pueden enviar un sticker de esa de what do you mean? No, de what what are you talking about? Pero later. Okay. Uh, before we continue with this, uh, we have this worksheet. Vamos con un present continuous. ¿Se recuerda yeah. el present? Okay, Elsa, I just, guess. Just take a breath. Yes, just take a breath. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, okay. teacher. No problem. No I problem. know that. Yes, we have some problems sometimes with the internet. Thank you. Present continuous. Thank you, Elsa. Uh, I know that you have studied this before. Ya no, no vamos a estudiar el presente. Vamos a estudiar el pasado continuo. But this is for you to have like a clear idea. Bear with ing. No vamos a basar solo en este. Affirmative, okay? Bear with ing. I am, you are, he is, she is. Tú estás jugando, él está jugando, ella está jugando. Y el verbo en ing. Verbo en ing, okay? I am, you are, he, he is, she is, all those things. Ese es el presente continuo. To explain something that is happening right now. For example, uh, imagine that uh, Susie is drinking coffee. Supongamos que Susie está tomando café, podemos decir, Susie is drinking coffee, okay? Marlon is listening to music. Um, for example, Maritza is watching television. Just example, solo, hay, solo son ejemplos. Lo que estás haciendo en este momento, okay? So if I am talking by phone, you can say, ah, oh, the teacher is talking by phone, okay? Lo que está pasando, pero, but, the past continuous is something that was happening when something uh, accidentally happened at that time. Se refiere a lo que estaba sucediendo cuando fue interrumpido con algo. Eso es el pasado continuo, okay? Uh, past continuous. Entonces, can you see? As here we are, here we use am, is, are. Esas, dos util esas tres utilizamos. In the past, solo vamos a utilizar dos. Was, were. Easy. Easy, peasy, okay? was, were, and uh, verb with ing, y siempre el verbo con ing, ¿verdad? Fácil, I was playing, you were playing, he was playing, she was playing, and so on. All the verbs uh, should have ing at the end. Todos los verbos van a tener ing al final, okay? So, let's practice. Sé que eso está fácil. Aquí tenemos, o sea, positive, ¿Mm? Fácil, es más fácil. It's easier because we have just was and were. En presente tenemos am, is, are. Okay? So that's uh, easier. Was es para singular, were, plural. Okay? Singular, plural. Okay? Here we have this. And we're going to start with Carmen Cera. Select one, Carmen Cera. And then Mercy. Okay, teacher. Uh, number one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dice, she, she, she was, mm -hmm. playing jockey, to play yes. jockey. Yes. Okay. She was playing hockey. Okay, perfect. Merci, and then we go with Andrea. I'm Number sure. four. Four. Mm, we are list. No. Yes. We are was. We are, or we. We are. We. Uh, we were mm -hmm. listening yes, to music. Perfect. Okay, and she was, ¿qué decía aquí? Okay. 
Okay, Marlon, pick one, my friend. And then Kevin. Okay. Um, number three. Okay. It was raining. Perfect. Okay, Kevin, Susie. Uh, number two. Mm -hmm. They were swimming in the pool. Perfect, good. Okay, Swiss, uh, Susie, Susie. Susie. Come on, teacher. Sorry, I'm sorry. Susie, and then Elsa. Number eight. Mm -hmm. I was waiting in front of the shop. Perfect. Okay, um, Elsa, <coughs> and then Maritza. Number 10. Mm -hmm. He was repairing Gary's bike. Good, thank you. Okay. Maritza and then Bea. Number nine. Nine. The cat was sleeping in the basket. Thank you. Okay. Bea and then Eden Nilsson. The mobile, uh, number five. Yep. The mobile was the ring. Was ringing, ringing. Was ringing. I like it. The pusetto. Yes, thank you. Okay, the and then, yes, and then Nilsson and Charlie. Max, what was uh, dancing with two girls? Okay, Mr. Max, look at the Okay, thank you, Charlie. The student were texting. Yes, that's it. Texting. Perfect. Así que para recordarles. En presente utilizamos am, um, is, are, ¿verdad? Presente. But we are talking in past. En pasado, was, were. Es similar, solo se le cambia el, el was y el were y ya estamos. Eso es fácil, ¿ok? Easy peasy, ¿ok? Ya pasó una hora, así que name one or two occupations that you would never do and why. And in this case, we're going to start with Manuel. Manuel, are you ready? Ok, ok. Tell me. Okay. Uy, como dijimos, ah, tengo otra página. Okay. Okay. You need time? Oh, no. Okay, Son please. cortas. Yes, good. Eh, mm, I, I would never do occupation is a uh, show at my boss. Oh, uh, what do you mean by that? What? What? I'm sorry. What do you mean? ¿A qué te refieres? Oh, oh, God, ¿cómo decirle? Okay, occupations or jobs or something that you wouldn't do. Ah, occupation. Oh, the occupation is a, ¿cómo se dice? Enfermero o enfermería, ¿no? Nurse. Nurse, eso sí, no. No, nurse. Okay. No. Y tampoco. Uh, De esa gente que anda limpiando las ventanas en los edificios altos ahí. Sí, ¿no? Ah, yeah, people who clean, yes. Yeah. Yes, they, they are, they are hung, están colgados, they are hung, maybe. Yeah. With, in a very high altitude. Altitude, ¿vale? Realmente, sí. ¿no? Yes, that's dangerous. Okay, thank you. Very sí. good. Okay, uh -huh. now we go with Andreita and then Damari. Okay, I would never work as an electrician. Electrician, because, uh -huh. because it's very dangerous and I can finish uh, electrocutada. Yes, <laughs> lightning. <laughs> yes, Come on. yes. That, and that, there, are, there are people that they don't wear what? They don't wear gloves, ni utilizan guantes, and nothing. They are like peeling, pelando, peeling the cables. And no worries, oh, yeah, but it's dangerous. Okay, and let's see, Charlie, and then Bea. The occupation I would not like to practice is life work because, because uh, life work. Ah, life work. Mm -hmm. life work. Guarda vidas. Guarda vida, yeah, because on one occasion a friend was drowning and I threw myself to help to help him. Uh -huh. and? Uh, it was a horrible experience because I didn't know how to do it 
and he is in the desperation will sit me into the water along with him. Yes, sinking, hundiéndote, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. When I threw uh, threw myself into the water to help, I didn't think of anything. Uh, already in my house, when I told my wife, he, she is calling me for not having truth uh, of her before doing what I did. It uh, was a... Um, uh, near death experience because I wouldn't want to be lifesaver literal that some else's life in your hand in this moment. This hey, is mm -hmm. yeah, no good. Yes, I, no good. I understand, but what happened with your friends? Uh, could you save him's life? Yes? Uh, yes, 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 okay. yes. He, he is alive. Okay, but uh, but it is, I know. Like, no, me gustaría repetir eso. No, it's a desperate situation. I don't know how many of you can swim. No sé cuánto pueden nadar, but it is an important skill that should uh, know. You should should know. Okay, so you never uh, work as a, a life work, right? Never, never. Okay. Yes. Neither do I. And the last person, Bea, okay, Bea, tell me, go ahead. Okay, I will never be a doctor. No doctor? No. no. You don't like blood? No. No blood. No, blood. <laughs> no, blood. no wound, heriditas, um, eso, bistec. Uh, no, ni veterinar, ni vet. Not vets, neither no. vets. Okay, Jasmine, I guess Jasmine has some experience about that, right? Just mean no problem with the blood, right? No problem with the sangre. No. 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 <laughs> well, I don't like it, but well, depends on every person. Okay, we're going to continue later. And now let's see here. Um, uh, we have great questions to match the answer. Okay. In this case, um. Remember, we have some activities. Have to, lo de have to, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tienes que hacer? Okay, write a question to match each answer. And for this, I'm going to show you the class that we had on Friday. La clase que tuvimos viernes. Ah, no, sin antes recordarles. Uh, remember that today is the last day to complete um, the homework para completar la tarea, ¿verdad? Es, es importante que, que complete la tarea. Son cinco ejercicios, five exercises. You have to do it tonight because tomorrow I'm going to check the, the qualifications, right? The, the grades. La tarea se refiere a la plataforma. Platform, yeah. Ah. That's it. That's it. Si no lo han hecho, si son procrastinators, si han dejado todo por última hora, please do it tonight. Esa risita me dice que les hace falta una. Entonces, una. ¿Verdad, Carmen? Sí, solo una. Ok. And remember, we, this is something that we study on Friday. I'm going to. Where is the package going to? Who is going to? Ok. So, these are. Um, y también teníamos las, las preguntas. Where are you going? What are you going? Ok. Con el going to. Teniendo esto claro. Um, ¿Qué tenemos con going to, verdad? What are you going to do? Are they going to? Is she going to? Okay. So for this case, um, maybe we can have some help um, from Carmen. Any idea, Carmen, Sira, of this? Take a look. Toma tu tiempo. Take your time. And then we go with uh, Marlon. I have 50 boxes to, to thread. That's my turn. Uh, yes, right, because Carmen is watching. Okay. Um, I think the, the question by, of the answer number one can be, how many boxes of thread do you have? Uh, how many boxes uh -huh. of thread do you have? I don't know. Yes, how many boxes? 
¿sí? ¿O Fred, do you have? Yes. Okay. ¿Qué sería mejor? Do you have two? Two thread. Uh, what, what, what is thread? Thread es como, eh, según tengo entendido, es como tenerlas en orden, ponerlas en orden como store, similar como store. ¿Ya? ¿Te recuerdas que store eh, es guardar, verdad? Sí. Entonces es similar, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, es que yo veo que dice que tiene que... Eh, 50 cajas de algo, no sé. Sí, sí. O sea, que tiene 50 cajas en orden o ordenadas. Ajá. Para ordenar, how many words do you have to thread? Of thread. Of thread. Yes. Así lo había dicho, ¿verdad? Eh, no, how many boxes of, of thread do you have? Uh -huh. De hilo. Yeah, that's uh -huh. it. Yes, that's it. Yes, of thread. Otra forma de decir hilo es Teacher, string. Uh -huh. What do you mean about it? Uh, because you say, oh, said, sorry, uh, that uh, nosotros usaríamos el going to. Se puede hacer no, de otra manera. I don't get it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to explain it. You can say, use the words. Y lo ponemos acá. What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Tú puedes decir, I have uh, 50... No, 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 no. Fíjate que aquí la indicación está mala. Tengo en la indicación que tiene que ser con el going to en el oh, libro del teacher. Aunque ahí estoy viendo pero que aquí, dice, pero aquí, eh, aquí tiene que ser con el have to. Sí. Sí. Porque aquí si estamos, si es countable y uncountable. Sí, sí, sí. Yo sí, estoy sí. No, aquí hay, hay, un, hay, hay un cruce de cables. Aquí, I'm sorry. Sí, porque tengo esta indicación y me parece esta bien, bien extraña realmente. Ah, estoy bien countable o uncountable. Así okay, que tiene que ser. Sería entonces, how many, in, ¿Mm? how much, right? How many, how much. Sí, sí, sería. Por eso les puse el cuadrito del going to, ¿verdad? Para <ríe> vincularlo, pero no, definitely, definitely no. Así que, así como, me, así sería, how many, how much, countable and not countable. Eh, por ejemplo, tenemos que fijarnos en los plurales. Cleaners, gallons, eh, six packs, ok. A lot of, ok. No, y, y, que, y que veo yo algo, teacher, de que eh, hay, hay una diferencia en cuando a uno le dan una cantidad en la respuesta y cuando en otra le dicen son a, a little o uh -huh, little uh -huh. a few. Entonces, bueno, pero ahí estamos entonces. Because ah. I am I I am lost teacher. No no, 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 no. ahorita le, le voy a le voy a traer. In love. How much? Vamos a utilizar así para que nos ubiquemos. How much? Hablando con Marlo, que que está comentando es how much es para a few much a little. ¿Ok? ¿Qué significa? Son, few, son, son. Y el how many lo podemos utilizar con contables y con a lot. Oh. A lot es la vieja confiable, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a hacer preguntas con how much y how many. ¿Ya, Susi? ¿Qué es eso? How much, how many. ¿Qué sería? Okay. Y me, recapitulando lo que dice Marlon, a few, much, a little, some, significan, son como, can, son como cantidades, poquito, bastante, más o menos, algo. Entonces utilizamos much. Veamos, enfoquémonos con los plurales. Okay. Veamos las palabras que tienen S, ¿verdad? O los plurales. Y de acuerdo a eso vamos a hacer las preguntas. Aquí voy a dejar esto para acá. Ok, Carmen Sira, and then we go with Andrea. Number two. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, sería how how many cleaners do they have? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Aquí viene ya le voy a poner, voy a poner otra, otra otra key keyword. Uh -huh. Yo voy a retomar esta pregunta. Andreita. Cleaners. 
teacher. Hmm? Clean notes, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Andreita. Number three. Mm -hmm. How many... Uh, how many he need? Casi, casi. Eh, estamos hablando de que hay... How many gallons of gas for lift? Yes. He, he needs. Mm -hmm. He needs... Uh, how many gallons sería does he need? ¿Cuántos galones necesita? Él necesita, he needs two gallons of gas for the way. ¿Ok? Para la máquina esa que me dijo Manuel la vez pasada. ¿Ok? Para levantar uh, boxes and all those things. ¿Ok? Maybe we can have some help with Mercy. Number four. ¿Ok? How many pat, pat, hmm? butter bars? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, no. Packs of water. Most good bags. Vaya, aquí podemos hacerla de dos maneras. How many packs of butter? O podemos ponerle. Uh, how many packs of, of butter do you want? Porque aquí está el once. Uh -huh. Cualquiera de las dos. Se entiende. And the last person uh, will be Susie. ¿Me ayudas? Sí, es la más difícil, mejor. <laughs> okay. Mm, sería... How many? Fíjate que como es agua solo, esa sería una, una excepción. How much? Yes. Ajá, me confundí porque decía en how many, a lot of. Y ahí decía sí. la... Ajá. Es que a lot of se utiliza es para many y para much. Ya, bien raro eso. Entonces sería, ahí sería what are they need. Mm. Ellos. Right? Mm. They need. Yeah. Sí. Ok, les voy a poner más ejemplos de esto, fíjense. Con estas, porque con estas no son suficientes con how much and how many. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to bring you more examples of how much and how many, okay? Se lo voy a traer mañana para explicárselo mejor y avanzar. Okay, and here we have some activities. Ya vamos a hacer esto, but before this, I need you to look at this. Le voy a dar eight seconds. We have fruits. Tenemos frutas, fruits, fruits, fruits. Remember the quantity and the name of the fruit, okay? Eight seconds. Es súper fácil. Y ya saben por qué está fácil. Ok. We have enough. And for this, more than easy. Carito, you are the first one. And then, Damari. An orange. Mm -hmm. Damari y Maritza. No entendí. Mm, ¿Algo que recuerdes de la imagen que acabamos de ver? Ah, ok. Tomatoes. Ajá. ¿How many? Eh, seven tomatoes. Yes, very good. Ok. Maritza. And then we go with Kevin. Uh, four lemons. Four lemons. Ok. And Kevin, Charlie. Uh, apple, an apple. An apple, ok. Quiero ver si me están mintiendo. No, hombre, no mentimos. Eso es cierto, that's true. Ok, Charlie. And then onions, just me. onions, three. Uh, ok, three onions. Ok, just me. And then Helen. Nice, sweet. Ok. Mm -hmm. How many? Nine. Okay, nine. Thank you. And Helen. Oh. Lemon. How many lemons? 
Four. Four. Okay. Uh, can you see? Here we have orange, pie, apple, eggs, tomatoes, uh, cakes, sweets, pears, onions, and all those that are very easy. And to continue, because we have just 42 minutes, so nos quedan 42 minutos. Name one or two occupations that you will never do and why. And for this, we're going to start with Susie. Okay. I would never work as a booker. To be in, I would not have to hear uh, to kill uh, or booker an animal as they say. And secondly, I feel that I could not live long with that smell of raw meat. Okay, you, you, you don't like it, the smell. Especially. Definitely, no. Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Susie. Now let's go with um, Kevin, are you ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Go ahead, please. Okay, I will not want to be a police. A police officer, officer. okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to listen to you. Okay. I try and try in, try in this country. I have heard a lot of bad things about trade and things like that. Okay. And, and yes, it's dangerous as well. And the payment is not so good, right? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, good. Thank you, Kevin. And what about Damari? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I me. will never do doctor and nursery. You will never work as a doctor nursery. Okay. Yes, teacher, because I, I am nervous. I can't see blood. The, the blood. You can't see the blood. Yes, and teacher. <laughs> what happened? Do you feel dizzy? Do you fall down, te caes, te desmayas, te mareas? Uh, yes. I think the people help me, help me to me, uh, and I, <laughs> I don't know, do. Okay. Hey, but have you seen wounds? Have you seen wounds? Yes, teacher, pero. <laughs> you don't no. like it? I don't like. Yes, uh, I guess that here, just Jasmine has like very, she's very, uh, brave because in this case in, in that era because I don't like it. I well. don't like I don't like the the occupation, but I I do the payment. <laughs> well, pero a veces lo lo tengo que a veces curo heridas del corazón. No, maybe when I when the the children. Uh, yeah, they fell down cuando se caen, so you have yes. to clean. I help, I help them. But it is minimal, right? Yes. It's relaxing. Only curitas or... <laughs> Things, okay. Yes, and no problem with that. You don't have problems with that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Damari. And what about Carmen? Ah, Carmen, see that. Tell me. Uh, <laughs> A uh, forensic, not teacher. For, for, ah, really? You don't like uh, corpse, cadavers? Um, like not tanto corpse, uh, because uh, I don't like the worms. I will shock me uh, child. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the other life work. Like similar to Charlie, no life. Work. Yes, I can swim with someone, Kelsey. But you can swim by yourself, just for you. Yes. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. But saving another because person. Because other people know. Oh, imagine a, a gordito, a very hmm? fat guy. No. Yes. You need, Nos you need to be, los dos. <laughs> yes, you need to be strong. Yes. And people, when they are uh, drinking water, and they are sinking cuando se están hundiendo. Sink es hundirse. When the people is sinking, they get desperate. And they, pull, they pull you down. Te jalan. Porque quieren sobrevivir. That's like uh, for surviving. OK. 
Okay, so yes, teacher. Usually happen. Okay, thank you, thank you, Carmencita, for uh, sharing. And now let's go with Maritza. Okay, Maritza. Okay. I will never want to be a lawyer. No because lawyer. They, uh -huh. <laughs> because they have to read a lot about love and love for me and it's boring. It's boring. Okay. Yes. Okay. And would not like to be a journalist either um, because many times they have to walk in the dangerous in dangerous place. places and dangerous yes even from Código 21 if you want to want to interview some bolitos in there yes mm. and yes if you are a lawyer you have to read a lot you have to be updated yes. and prepared with articles and all kinds of laws yeah that usually happens okay thank you Maritza so no lawyer what about Eden Nilsson? Are you there, Eden Nilsson? Yes, I'm here. Okay, tell me, my friend. Um, I never, I would never do. Um, accountant. Mm -hmm. You you would never sí. work as a content. No, no as a content. Yes, never, never. You don't like numbers because I administration. Uh, I think that is uh, uh, maybe boring because it's too much paper in the in the, in the office. Desk. Uh -huh, the desk. Yes, and that that implica implies. Mm -hmm. implies that it will be in a room all the time oh, and okay. mm -hmm. yeah that's it no yeah. no in the second one uh, maybe la lawyer too lawyer you wouldn't be a lawyer okay. no no okay okay i understand that well that, that's good. Remember that we have some likes and we have some uh, yeah, preferences. Okay. So that usually happens. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And the last person from this is going to be um, Carito. Okay, Carito. Okay. The occupation that will never be is uh, animal training. It is dangerous for the person and the animals. Okay. <laughs> uh, animal training. Okay. No. No. Okay. So any other? Tienes otro? No. Only that one. Only that. Only animal training. Okay, perfect. And now we're going to the, thank you, Carito, thank you. And now let's go with the listening part. And uh, this is the part number three of the listening that we have uh, been listening uh, related to the photograph. Remember, a person describing the members of the family of a photograph. So uh, this audio, it's about one minute and 10 seconds. So, uh, I need you to write phrases, sentences, or ideas, okay? This is uh, really quick. We start. It's incredible, but the little girl at the front of this photo is my grandmother. Look at her. She was only five years old in this picture, and she still remembers the day it was taken. It was September 1914 and her two uncles, Peter and Lionel, were going to France in the war. They wanted to take a picture. The two women in the middle were Peter's wife and Lionel's girlfriend. They looked very sad, you can understand why. The woman at the back worked in my mother's house and the man wearing the dark clothes with a cap was a driver or something like that. My mother knows the full story. If you look very closely, you can see that my grandmother has a tiny handbag in her hand. She was like that. She was a little woman even when she was five years old. 
She loved her uncles very much, and even now. She says things like, my uncle Peter loved cheese. Peter died in the war sadly, but Lionel came back and became an actor in the theater. My grandmother got married when she was 17 and had seven children. Okay, listen to the last time. It's incredible, but the little girl at the front of this photo is my grandmother. Look at her. She was only five years old in this picture, and she still remembers the day it was taken. It was September 1914, and her two uncles, Peter and Lionel, were going to France in the war. They wanted to take a picture. The two women in the middle were Peter's wife and Lionel's girlfriend. They looked very sad. You can understand why. The woman at the back worked in my mother's house, and the man wore the dark clothes with a cap, was a driver or something like that. My mother knows the full story. If you look very closely, you can see that my grandmother has a tiny handbag in her hand. She was like that. She was a little woman even when she was five years old. She loved her uncles very much and even now. She says things like, my uncle Peter loved cheese. Peter died in the war sadly but Lionel came back and became an actor in the theater. My grandmother got married when she was 17 and had seven children. Okay, so let's uh, listen to some of the ideas that you wrote. We're going to start with Elsa, are you ready? And then Claudia? Yes. Please, go ahead. He he is about your his mother, grandmother. Um, I no entendí muy bien quién estaba triste o cansado. Okay, there there was a person who was sad or people mm -hmm. sad. Thank you, Elsa, Claudia, okay. and then Edgar. Teacher, ahora no es de lo que las palabras que más o menos identificamos o es yes. lo que contaban. Similar, similar, the words. But now we are uh, working with phrases or sentences. Ahora ya no trabajamos con palabras, sino que con frases o con, o con oraciones. But if you have some words, okay, go ahead. Ok, yo más o menos, bueno, no sabía qué hacía ahora. Eh, no más o menos, eh, capté, digamos, las palabras siempre. Ok, tell me three or four. Ok, de, decía la fecha de September 1914. Good. Hablaba del girls, girls friends. Girls friends, uh, uh -huh. and? Uh -huh. um, the, my mother, my grandmother. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Claudia, perfect. Edgar, and then we go with Carmen. Okay, uh, lo que alcancé a escuchar es, was a driver, uh, far, five years old, my oh. my uncle Peter loved cheese. Okay. And my grandma was Mary. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. That's good. Carmen, and then we go with Beatrice. It was September. Uh, mm, quiero ver. 1914, creo que dijo. Yes, that's it. 1914. Okay, 1914. She loves for uncles very much. Okay, that's nice. Thank you, Carmen Sera. Very good. Good information. Uh, Beatriz, and let's go with just me. It's incredible. Look, look at the hair. They look very sad. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Jasmine and Manuel. Uh, but a little girl, they want uh, to take a picture. It was September 1994, uh, 14, mm -hmm. sorry, was a driver. You can see a little woman and grandmother go, uh, grandmother, no sé qué, married. Okay, thank you. Manuel and Andrea. Manuel, are you here? Sorry, teacher. Estaba haciendo unas cosas de trabajo ahí. Okay, are you ready or do you need more time? 
Okay, no problem. Uh, you're kind of busy. Andrea, and then we'll go with uh, Charlie. My grandmother got married was she 17. And they wanted to take a picture. Yes, they wanted to take a picture. Good. Charlie and Marlon. Yeah, it's incredible that little girl in this in this picture is my hasta inmigre. Okay, thank you. And Marlon. Uh, it's incredible, but the little girl at the front of the photo is my grandmother. Look at her, she was only five years on this photo. Yes, very nice, very good. Okay, uh, thank you. I know that some of you have some other sentences. Remember that we have to uh, give the opinion about the sentence, the phrase, or the idea. Okay, es importante eso. Ya estamos dejando de un lado solo las palabras, sino que nos vamos con frases e ideas. Y and in the future, we have to make like conclusions or make some, uh, or summarize. Tenemos que concluir, tenemos que, que hacer resumen sobre todo eso. Pero vamos un poquito más adelante. I'm going to play it one more time, just for you to have an idea about uh, what is this listening about. It's incredible, but the little girl at the front of this photo is my grandmother. Look at her. She was only five years old in this picture, and she still remembers the day it was taken. It was September 1914, and her two uncles, Peter and Lionel, were going to France, the world. They wanted to take a picture. The two women in the middle were Peter's wife and Lionel's girlfriend. They looked very sad. You can understand why. The woman at the back worked in my mother's house and the man wearing the dark clothes with a cap was a driver or something like that. My mother knows the full story. If you look very closely, you can see that my grandmother has a tiny handbag in her hand. She was like that. She was a little woman even when she was five years old. She loved her uncles very much and even now. She says things like, my uncle Peter loved cheese. Peter died in the war sadly, but Lionel came back and became an actor in the theater. My grandmother got married when she was 17 and had seven children. Okay, now we can see that this uh, part of the description of this uh, forward. So now uh, let's continue 25 minutes and we finish. 25 minutes y terminamos. Okay, so uh, here we have some narratives. But first, I'm going to send you the conversations. Le pueden ver las conversaciones. And in that order, remember that uh, the first the first conversation that you receive is the number one, and so on. This is number one. Two. Okay, number three. This conversation, it's, a, it's at the bank. Es en el banco. You see? Uh, this. Setting up a bank account, ¿verdad? Para crear una cuenta de banco cuando ustedes pues, eh, van por primera vez. So, eh, let's see. If you uh, need some Reinforcement, uh, I guess you already know these words. Creo que ya, ya saben uh, de, de que se trata, ¿no? The vocabulary is very easy. Um, number one, take a look at this, okay? You have number two. And number 
Okay, so um, here we have this conversation. How are you? Well, thank you. Uh, let me see, that number one. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. What can I help you with? I would like to open a bank account. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. Would, would you also like to open a savings account? That's fine. In order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I want to deposit 300. I'll set up your account for you right now. Make sure to put uh, $150 in each account. How are you? Conversation number two. I'm well, thank you for asking. What can I do for you? I need to open a bank account, account, okay? What kind of account? I just need a checking account. You can open savings account too. All right, open both. You need to deposit at least uh, $50 into both accounts. I will be depositing $300 today. I will set your, uh, your accounts up right now. Would you please put $150 in both accounts? And number three, how are, how are the things going with you? No, I'm sorry, how are things with you? I'm fine, thank you. May I help you with something? I want to open a bank account. Do you want, uh, do you know what kind of account you want to open? I want to open a checking account. You should also open a savings account. That would be great. To open these accounts, you need and to make a deposit of at least uh, $50. I would actually like to deposit $300 today. Let me do that for you. Please put uh, $150 in each account for me. I'm going to create the pairs. Voy a crear las, las pares, parejas. 21 minutes, 22 minutos, casi terminamos. Okay, so uh, take a look at the conversations. Vean las conversations mientras hago los grupitos. Let me see. Okay, see you in a couple of seconds. Hello, Manuel. Tell me, my friend. Uh, eso lo escuché de, de las tareas. ¿Hasta cuál me dijo que habría que hacer también? Five, hasta las cinco. Unidad uno. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Unit one. Uh -huh. Ok. Unidad uno. ¿Cómo vas ahí con eso? 
Ah, ahora solo me faltaban como dos para esos tres. Hombre. Pero Seguro que solo eso te falta. Sí, o, o nos han enviado las otras. Sí, no, no, no. Va, vamos por partes. Ok. No, oh, porque. Así que, ajá. Y un uno, dice Iba. Sí, 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 sí. Ah, eh, ac eh. acordé que son, son, este, ¿cómo se llama? Cuatro unidades. Correcto. Son cuatro unidades. Entonces, como ya terminamos la, la primera semana, entonces tiene que terminar la, la, las, la primera unidad, que consiste en cinco tareas. Ya. Hmm, Así okay. que puedes terminar la hora para que mañana pase las notas y todo eso, ¿ok? Ok, ok, ok. Sí, hombre, ahí estábamos distraídos. Mandé un mensaje ahí que nos, me metieron a un curso como... Al final pasaron una encuesta la vez pasada. ¿o? Ajá. Y le puse que me interesaban los cursos de, de, de Excel y, y entre otros. Y, y me mandaron. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Y me mandaron uno de Excel y solo por ver, porque me dijeron que no, no importaba lo de la, de la asistencia, no era meramente importante. Ajá. Más que todo participar en lo de la plataforma. ¿Mm? Eso. Entonces solo quería ver cómo era la, la metodología y, y vamos a ver cómo retomamos mañana ya de nuevo el curso aquí en inglés. Ah, va, excelente. Sí, no, yo entiendo que a veces y es saturado estar así. Sí, en vez. Pero no se ponga triste, aquí vamos a estar. Sí, hombre, con todos los poderes me llega. Eso. That, that's it, va. Excelente. Permitimos que ya voy, a terminar, ya voy a llamar a los demás. Ok, ok. Count, that's fine. In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I want to deposit, eh, ¿cómo es 300? $300. $300. I, I'll set up your account for, for you right now. Make sure to put $150 in each account. Okay. I start. How are how are you doing today? What can I help with you? I would like to open a bank account. Kind of account who you want to open? I want to open a checking account. You should also open a savings account. That would be great. To open this account, you will need to make a deposit of at least fifteen dollars. I would actually like to deposit three hundred dollars today. Bien, el teacher pregunta Amalia. Teacher, tenemos una pregunta. <laughs> Ahí viene el teacher, como que cuando están en el salón y están de pie, viene el teacher. Ajá. ¿Qué no, pasó? Que, en la segunda, en la segunda conversación. Eh, al final termina en pregunta. O sea, como que se queda esperando que le conteste. Uh -huh. Sí, así es. Yeah. Uh -huh. would, you, uh, uh, would you please put uh, uh, $150 in both accounts? Sí, así es. Ah, la respuesta es sí. yes. Uh -huh. Se me cortó uh -huh. entonces ahí. Uh -huh. Yes, definitely. ¿Ya, ¿Ya practicaron todo? Error de dedo. Yes, yes, yes. No, pero qué rápido. No, nos falta no, una. Ah, la okay. última. Bien. Ah, las agarré en, en. Ahí viene el teacher, ahí viene el teacher. Sí, teacher. las agarré. Eso. <risa> ya estábamos en otra cosa, ah, mentira. Ya no, pues sí, entiendo. <risa> ah. ah, mentira. La veo en un rato. Ok, teacher, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Great, thanks. What can I help you with? I would like to open a bank account. What thing would you like to open? I need a checking account. Would you also like to open savings account? That's fine. In order to open this account, you need to deposit a minimum of $50. I want. Okay, uh, 12 minutes, 12 minutos. Let's see, we're going to study what's the name of this song. I guess some of you know it, some others don't know it, but um, 
uh, for tomorrow we're going to have the other for today. For tonight, I'm going to present this extract of this song. Uh, I was not in church, no me tocaba a mí, pero, pero igual para, para seguir con, con eso mismo, okay? What's the name of this song? And uh, I'm not going to say what words uh, you are identi I identify, but you are going to say it. Ustedes me van a decir qué palabras identifican, okay? So this is very, uh, a classic, well, a classic uh, song, okay? So, so you think you can tell heaven from hell, blue sky from pain. Can you tell a green field from a cold steel rail, a smile from a veil? Do you think you can tell? I guess you, I guess at least three of you or four of you know the answer of, well, the name of this song, okay? But first I'm going to ask to some, let's see, who, who? Charlie, do you know the name of this song? Uh, no, not this year. Really? I no. don't know, I don't know. Okay, no problem. Let's see, Marlon is the last one, definitely, definitely. Okay, um, Carmen, any idea of this song? I don't idea, teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem, <laughs> no problem. Andreita? No. No. Okay. How Marlon Teacher, si canta, quizás sí. I'm sorry. No, I don't know how to sing. No puedo cantar. <laughs> Elsa siempre me, me, me quiere exponer. Okay. No problem. No. Wish you were here. Yes. I wish, wish you were here from Pink Floyd. Yes. So uh, this one of my favorite. No, well, Pink Floyd has a lot of good music. But this is a very famous song. That, that's the, the only difference. Okay, uh, I'm going to pick one of you and tell me what words can you identify? For example, uh, let's start. Verb, verb teacher. What verb? Tell me what verb. Uh, can, seen, smile. Okay, can. Seen. Mm -hmm. Yes, and. Smile, smile, smile. Smile, yes, that's it. We have at least these verbs. Now let's go with Beatriz. Do you identify any other word, Beatriz? Um, adjectives. What are, one or two adjectives? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, one, blue. Blue, yes, it's a color, but in this case, acts like, as an adjective. Si, actúa como adjetivo. Es un color, pero actúa como adjetivo. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. And this and skies is nine. It's now. Skies is now. Perfect. Skies, nouns. Okay, what about um Carito? Can you see another verb, another noun, another adjective? So adjective? Which one? Mm -hmm. You. You. Yes. Okay, you is a subject pronoun, okay? Mm -hmm. Subject yes. pronoun, you. Que se repite aquí también. Mm -hmm. No problem, no problem. That's it, thank you. Okay, who's next? Aquí más le dije. Any other? Okay, Damari para que le ponga sabor a, a su clase de ahora. Ajá, Damari. Again, <laughs> I, yo, yo encontré los verbos. <laughs> Ah, es cierto, tú me dijiste los verbos, no. Ah, eh, mire, eh, tell no es verbo. Yes, 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 another verb. Ok, es cierto, mira. Hay que te, tener que como que te esconder, como que te esconder. Andreita, any other? An adjective. Green. ¿Ah? Green. Yes. Green. Mm -hmm. green, green, igual que And cold. cold. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. Okay, nice. Perfect. I rec I strongly recommend this song. Wish you were here. Perfect. Okay, um, let's uh, finish with this because we have seven minutes. Okay, seven minutes. Name one or two occupations that you would never do. Why? Marlon, tell me what you would never do and why. Uh, well, I will never... Uh, 
I would never work or uh, work uh, like a window cleaner, like some someone said before. Yeah, I don't remember who said that. Uh -huh. uh, I I I don't either. But in in the high places and uh -huh. as alturas, teacher. Yes, yes. The high. <laughs> as you know, I'm afraid to the high places. <laughs> yes. But even <laughs> as your profession, you should be the in mind, high place. The mind is it to me. Yeah, the mind. But, but I, I, I really, I really am afraid to the high places. Okay. Así las alturas. Yes. And uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, and the other, and the other uh, occupations I will never do is. Um, about the medicine, like, like, como es, alguien dijo ahí, forense, no? Yes, ah, uh, Carmencita. Uh -huh. Sí, no, no, no. De hecho, no. lo que han mencionado los compañeros, casi <laughs> ninguna de esas. Creo que ninguno, from, from the, the no, top. No, 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 sí, sí, sí sería contador, sí sería abogado y todo eso, pero, pero lo de, uh, anything about, uh, the, the, como es, uh, wounds, Anything about wounds, anything about blood, and and about dentists, I I think I I will never do that. No, I will never. But I I admire people who do it. Of, of course. course, of course, because that's uh, important jobs. But in my case, I don't like it as well. Well, no high. And, and, and I think that that's uh, being a doctor. Some uh, that those are a good professions to to help each other yes. but uh, in some places like the el seguro social mm. <laughs> they are not they, they are not so polite and they are very yes. they are hard it it looks like uh, if the doctors don't want to help anyone no they don't want it they don't want but they but they want to help uh, patients but in the private clinics right oh of course <laughs> So that's it. Yeah, that happens. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Very nice. Let's listen to Mercy. Are you ready, Mercy? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I will never uh, do, will be to serve in the military. For uh, example, military, military service, no. No, for example, soldiers. No soldiers. No, okay. because every day, they risk mm -hmm. their lives. Yes, it is a risk. It's a risk. risk. It's a risk. It's yes, I know. Okay, thank you, Mercy. Very good answer. Now let's uh, listen to Edgar. Are you ready, Edgar? And then Elsa. Uh, I will never uh, mind uh, work in the mines. In the mines and the minas or where? Uh -huh. Minas. Ah, okay, in the mines, yes. Uh, Even there are a lot uh, of accidents. <laughs> yes. A lot of accidents. Uh, uh, thinking that at some point, some mine uh, could explode and get trapped. Get trapped and remember to be uh, close. You can, well, in my case, I, I don't like uh, close places. I'm kind of claustrophobic. I don't like it. And imagine people who are trapped. Wow. Four of them, pobrecitos. Yeah, yeah very Claustrophobia. good point. Yes, yes, I don't like it. I don't like to be in narrow or closed places. And what has it called? See, I don't like it. Okay, so thank you. And what about Elsa? Miedo Santa Claus. No. <laughs> yeah. Elsa, Entendí esa referencia. And the Mari. I will, I will never do a structural welders in a building. Because uh, I give it um, me vertigo. Uh -huh. Vertigo. Mm -hmm. And never uh, pediatrician. Pediatrician. No. No working with no. kids. That's very risky being arriesgado because babies, well. Sí, I no, no, no soportaría ver el sufrimiento. De los... Yeah, poor, poor of babies, yes. Uh, Híjole, no. It's, it's, it's very complicated. Okay, thank yeah. you. Uh, Damari and then Helen. ¿Y por qué? Si yo le hubiera dicho que I don't like, I could no never do doctor and nurse. 
I'm sorry, no sé por qué van dos veces que no te pongo, fíjate acá. I'm sorry. Ahí, te voy a poner ese limpio. El amor lo tiene loco. No, no, come on. But, you, but si me quiere escuchar otra vez, I no, don't I got, I got. Ok, thank you, Damari. No, el amor a mi trabajo. Ok, eh, Helen, are you there? Que se me ha escapado. Y si Helen se me ha escapado. Hello, teacher. Hello. Ajá. Uh -huh. I will never do the occupation and doctor. Doctor, you don't like blood. No te gusta la, la, la carne, tío. No, la sangre. You don't like blood, you don't like wounds. Yes. No. Is compromise with the life. Yes, it's a compromise. A yeah, compromise with the family, with the patients. Yes. Well, not, not easy. Thank you. And, and what about uh, Wilson to Claudia? Are you there? Claudia Diaz? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, Claudia. I will never do work in the highs. In the highs, similar to Marlon, sí. similar to. Yes. Him. To uh -huh. I have a fear of height. Height, yes. It is difficult, imagine. Yeah, you can fall down. Thank you. Yes. And, thank you. And Jasmine, are you there, Jasmine? Hello. Yes, I'm here. Okay, no pasado, verdad? No me decir que no te puse tampoco. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Jasmine. I would uh... Uh, fly attendant? No fly attendant. Okay. No. Okay. Because uh, I wouldn't have um, a family yes. for the travel. Because they are traveling all the time. Yes. All the time. Uh, yes. That happens, yes. And you need time for the baby and for your family. Okay, thank you, Yasmin. Yeah. Okay, my friends, I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye. Remember that we have to complete the homework and from number one to number five, unit one, ¿verdad? Unidad uno de la, de la, de la tarea de la uno a la cinco. And attendance list, eh, Mercy, hello. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi. Perfect. Charlie. Hi. Hello, Carmencita. I'm here. You are there. Claudia. Present, teacher. Good. Carito. Good night. Good night. Maritza. Present. Good. Ed Nilsson. I'm here. You are there. Edgar. Good night. Good night. Elsa. Present, teacher. Okay. Damari, que ya la puse aquí como tres veces. Present. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Helen. I'm here, teacher. You are there. Kevin. Perfect. Manuel. Hello. Hello. Uh, Marlon. Present. Thank you. Susie. I say goodbye. You, I know you want to say goodbye. Jasmine. Bea. Present. Present. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Claudia uh, Diaz, te quedas la sesión. And the rest, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Te envían las tareas. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thank, bye you. Bye. Thank you for being here. Bye. Okay, Claudia. Hello. Hello. Uh, tell me, do you have some doubts? ¿Tienes algunas dudas? Uh, ¿Algún repaso que te gustaría que, que hiciéramos? Hello. Sorry, sorry, uh, teacher. La, la clase del viernes son un poquito, no sé, a lo que me puede dar del repaso porque no, no pude estar. No. Ok, no problem. Go on. Here I have. Let me see. Creo que ahora estaba mencionando que decía que lo que había visto la clase del viernes para formar las oraciones o algo así. Ah, sí, pero, pero no te preocupes, es bien corto, ya te lo digo. Vaya, te voy a explicar lo que vimos. Mm. 
Vaya, eh, we had this eh, card for shipping. Es una tarjeta como de envío. Tiene información de un producto que se va a enviar. Por ejemplo. Here, this is the address of the person sending the product. La persona que envía el producto, esa es, esa es la dirección. Uh -huh. And this one is the direction or the address for reception, para la recepción, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vía desde San Carlos, California, to El Salvador. Okay. Tenemos tracking number. Tracking number es el número de rastreo. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Tú ya has pedido cosas por internet? ¿Todavía no? De, fu de fuera del país. ¿Sí? No, no. Ok, cuando tú pides, they, uh -huh. eh, the, 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 the enterprise gives you the tracking number, que es un número donde tú puedes rastrear el producto. Shipment, que es el envío. Ok. Y esta es la fecha de manu, de, de fabricación. Ok. Eso. Uh -huh. va. Ok. Teniendo en cuenta esto, vamos con la siguiente. What is the shipping address? La dirección de quién envía. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál sería? The shipping address. Sería la que dice Travers. Yes, in, in mm -hmm. Glenway, mm -hmm. San Carlos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy, ok. Mm -hmm. What is the mailing address? ¿Cuál considera que es the mailing address? Sería la litoral. Perfect. Easy. Tre número 34, la Unión el Estado. La unión. Ok. Mm -hmm. How many units are in the package? Vamos a ver. How many units are in the package? Uh, 65 units. Good, Claudia. Very nice. And what is the manufacturing date? What is the manufacturing date? Mm, it's date uh, um, 12 de abril, ¿verdad? April. Yes, April. Uh -huh, de... 2013. 2013. Uh -huh. 2013. 2013. Okay, very nice. Um, so this is the first part, that something that, that, that we started now. Let me see. Aquí estamos con el going to. Mira, esto, eh, Claudia, lo vimos el módulo pasado, no sé si te recuerdas, que vimos uh -huh. lo del will y el going to para futuro. ¿Sí te acuerdas? Sí, sí. Un poquito. Bien. Going uh -huh. to es cuando... Eh, es para expresar acciones en el futuro y que eh, hay seguridad de que van a pasar, ¿ok? Uh -huh. I'm going to give you the information. Te voy a dar la información negativa. Uh -huh. I am not going to give you the information. No te voy a dar la información. Uh -huh. Vamos acá. The airline is going to transport the shipping. La aerolínea va a transportar el envío. Entonces, con el going to, yo voy a hacer tal cosa, Claudia va a hacer tal cosa, eh, ellos van a hacer tal cosa ya yeah. it's for uh -huh. future for future bien me podrías leer el, la negativa the airline the airline is not going to transport the, the shipping. shipping good now aquí your packages your packages are going to arrive tomorrow tomorrow and now negative your packages your packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow Good. Now let's go to the question. Here we have two questions. Can you read it, please? Where? Mm -hmm. I can let... Where is the packing? Package. 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 Okay. Where is the package going to arrive? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuándo va a llegar el, el paquete? Uh, continue. Who is going? Who is going to de deliver? Deliver. Or delivery. It. Deliver it. Deliver it. Who is going to deliver okay. it? Thank you. Deliver it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora, aquí vamos a ordenar esto. So, they, uh, there are three questions. We're going to use this format. Este formato vamos a utilizar hoy. Where, who. Okay. So, uh, we start with number one. Mm -hmm. Vamos a comenzar con where. Okay. Where. Mm -hmm. We're tomando, going to. Tomando ejemplo. Mira, mira aquí el ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Where? Where? 
Where are? Yes, where are? Where are they? Yes. Going to the, going to okay. Okay. pick up the yes. packing. Package, good. Where are they going to pick up the package? No mm -hmm. problem. Let's go with number two. Who? Who? Who going to? Who? Who? Who is going yeah. to receive. receive the shipping? Mm -hmm. Excellent, Claudia. No problem. Ya viste que no te cuesta. Está fácil. Mm -hmm. Vamos. When? When is? When is going to? Is the new material? Casi, casi, casi. When is? Going to arrive. Arrive the new material. The new material. Material. Mm -hmm. Easy. Ya viste, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. eh, no cuesta mucho con eso del going to. Déjame ver si aquí tengo más práctica. Bien, como ya se nos acabó el tiempo, solo vamos a utilizar dos de estas oraciones para que te quede más claro, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Bien, puedes elegir cualquiera. Vamos a utilizar con el going to, ¿ok? En tercera persona, me, me complica. Ok, no problem. ¿Cuál uh, nombre? Number two. Number, number two. two. We. Uh -huh. Ok. Go ahead. We. Uh, sería we, we going. Ajá, uh -huh. we are. We are going. We are going to. Playing. Play. A new computer, computer game. game. Excellent. Any other? Ok, select another. Uh, my sister mm -hmm. uh, my sister no tendría en primera persona mm -hmm. o sería? segunda persona mm -hmm. my sister is mm -hmm. my sister is mm -hmm. to watching tv is going to watch Ah, uh, going, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Going to watch TV. Mm -hmm. Instead of going to watch TV. Okay, uh, Claudia, voy a ver si lo okay. preparo un poquito más de, 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 de worksheets, ¿verdad? Para que practiquemos, pero sí has captado bien, ¿verdad? Solo hay detallitos, mm -hmm. pero el, el tema sí, y te recuerdo, yo sé que te recuerdas, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Así que, ¿verdad? Ok, este, teacher, muchas gracias. No, no hay problema, Claudia, ¿te vas a conectar mañana? Orly? Sí, 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 yo pienso que ya no habría problema porque esto porque sí en verdad no, no lo esperaba yo y este yo problema sé. que no ha pasado. Yo sé Claudia, yo sé, yo sé que es complicado, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. pero bueno, también los dice for solicitan, ¿verdad? Que estés presente, ¿verdad? Es sí, sí, yo también. hablé ahora con ellos y me dijo que aunque no encendiera la cámara, pero que me conectara este, por lo claro. menos esta semana. Claro, claro, yo sé que hay dificultades y ya sabes que cualquier cosa pues me comentas, ¿verdad? Ahí estamos. Está bien. Eh, Muchas Claudia, gracias, puedes, ya sabes, a la orden. Claudia, ¿podrías preparar la canción para mañana? ¿Un extracto para mañana? En la can... Ahora, eh, quiero ver si comprendí bien. Ahora solo se prepara la canción y tengo que, que decir los verbos. Eh, solo tienes que decir cinco eh, palabras, ya sea si hay verbos, si hay adjetivos, si hay Ajá. adverbios, si son pronouns. Ya, Ajá. porque ahora, ahora si te das cuenta, la canción ya no solo la, 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 la adivinamos, sino que estamos analizando gramaticalmente, ¿ya? Sí, sí, está bien, teacher, está hecho, yo okay. lo voy para para mí. Thank you, thank you, Claudia. Espero que siga okay. mejor. Cuídate. Okay. Gracias. Bye. Bye.